Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Diablo 4 with Stefan Nicola, our lightning sorceress. So, last episode, uh, we were in... Where were we? Whoop. We were way down here. And we were, we went to the Lost Archives and we did some stuff, we cleared it out, we uh, talked to a uh, uh, sorcerer that was down here, we went to his uh, shack and he was trying to revitalize, or he was trying to uh, take uh, this book and reveal its secrets and things did not go according to plan. Um, and so we had to uh, skedaddle from there because yeah, things were not, things were not good. Things were definitely not going according to how we wanted them to. That was the bad stuff was going on there. So we killed the stuff. I got um, a, a relic down here, Forgotten Codex, and I got a bunch of cool stuff from clearing out that dungeon. I cleared it out because, um, yeah, I was just going to need some space. So, yeah, so off camera, um, I was doing some stuff uh, because that was very indecisive. I didn't want to record that because that would have just been an hour or two of me wasting time and not actually doing anything, recording anything. Um, but I did do some stuff. As you can tell from looking over here, I have slots now. Well, actually, I always have slots, but I have stuff in those slots now. So I have um, sapphires. Um, each of them gives plus 10 to willpower, so I've got two in my slots for my rare pants. So I boosted up my, uh, my willpower, my willpower uh, which increases my, uh, my, my healing by plus 3.4%, my overpower uh, damage. My resource generation has been boosted, but by, not by much, 1.4% really isn't a lot, but that's going to change over time. Um, I boosted my intelligence with my, uh, my helmet. I got a really special legendary helmet in the last episode, and so um, and it came with two slots, so I, I, did, I went through with tempers, and I improved it. I got a plus 28% to Frozen Nova's size, so... Um, eventually, at some point, I am actually going to use Frozen Nova because of the fact that I have that. I was trying to renew and redo the temper to get it to be something else besides Frozen Nova, like Lightning, since I'm a Lightning Sorcerer. But after retry and retry and retry, um, I was getting the exact same thing, and it was costing me resources, and it was making me mad. So I was like, I'll just settle for, for Frozen Nova. So that's stupid. But it is what it is. Alright, so then um, I also have this, um, this, this, the, uh, the, what are those called? Um, not amethyst. Um, emeralds. Okay, emeralds. Emeralds give you a boost to dexterity, just like in the previous game. So I have plus twenty to my dexterity, which helps with uh, things like um, dodging. So I have a plus dodge increased chance by plus 0.3%, which doesn't really feel like a lot. Um, but it's something, I guess. I guess the numbers seem really small to me. <laughs> like, plus 0.3% doesn't really seem like a big bonus. Um, but I guess those numbers add up over time. You know, as I increase my stats, it's... It seems insignificant, but it must be a pretty big deal. Um, this just doesn't seem like it from my point of view. Um, well, there we go. That so I have you know increase in willpower, increase in dexterity, increase in my intelligence. Got all this armor boosted. One of the cool things I found um, is that I can actually remove these from their slots. So I'm looking forward to that. I can actually now. Um, before you couldn't do that. You, before you couldn't, you know, once you, once you used a gym, it was done. It was, it was used, and you were stuck. In previous versions of Diablo. I like that you can actually take these things out. You can unslot them. You can put them in other armor. Um, because that's going to be really handy as I go on and I, I find more stuff. And I'm finding a lot of stuff. Um, I have a, a skull here. Uh, inside of a ring. Inside of any jewelry. Um, the skull gives you plus 40 to armor. Um, in a weapon, it gives you like plus 2 to uh, life whenever you hit someone. And I wanted to do that. Um, or is it plus 2 to life when you kill? 
Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, but anyway, um, I like that idea. But this didn't have a slot for it. And uh, so, you know, I'll either find a weapon with the slot, I like a, or I'll put a slot in one of my weapons. But I, um, I'm, I've been keeping this. I like this so far. I am going to replace this one. And at some point, maybe I'll change this out. When I get better armor, that's like, you know, stronger armor, like you know, higher numbers and stuff, I'm going to be playing around with this stuff. And I'm going to probably uh, de-slot these guys and, and level up my, uh, my armor. But right now, everything's looking really beautiful and really wonderful. And so I'm keeping this where it is. Um, but I have these nice rings here. And I also enhanced them, resource generation. And I, this was a, I was using a different ring before. So this ring is, um, is a one I replace. I slotted it, or maybe it already had a slot, but um, I put the, uh, the the skull in there and I also tempered it so it's like 6% resource cost reduction. Uh, so by cost reduction, it means that my spells, my skills, are going to cost less. Um, so instead of costing, you know, 50, um, instead of costing 50 mana, uh, my spell would cost... Um, I don't know, like, three less, maybe? Yeah, maybe. So it would cost, like, 47 mana. Which, I mean, when you think about it, okay, that's not really that great. But also when you think about it, it's, it's something, and it's a start. Over time, I'm going to get better boosts, I'm going to get better stuff, and it's going to be better. So... Yeah, I, for this uh, weapon here, I got like overpower damage for my focus um, for the uh, ruby. The rubies, um, you know, I know in the weapons they used to do like uh, the the the, uh, the gems used to give you like uh, like a certain percentage of damage to like a certain like element. Like so, um, topaz before was used for lightning. Um, emerald was used for poison. Sapphire was used for cold, Ruby was for fire, so all those damages. I was kind of hoping that we would get that again, but this time around, we're not getting it. <coughs> but it is what it is, you know. And um, I like the skulls. The skulls are usually the best ones, because they're before they're like, um, they're like boost to like your life or, 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 or mana per second or something like that. There, there's, uh, and then of course, with this one, it's going to be. Uh, health again when you kill and so I wanted I do want to have a bill I want to have like a skull bill like I want to have like a like a eventually I'm gonna do a barbarian or something like that and they're gonna have like two swords and those swords are gonna be really thirsty they're gonna be bloodthirsty swords it's gonna be just all about like when I hit them when I kill them it's gonna boost my life so it's gonna be like a vampire build kind of thing where I'm gonna be kind of kind of trying my best to be invincible uh, because, you know, if you have, like, if you have weapons that just suck up life as they're, as you're fighting them, it's constantly re re rejuvenating yourself, you can just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, because you're just, re you're just rebuilding your life, and, um, so that's gonna be a future build, um, for me. Uh, I might see about, um, improving this armor here. Because it says odd garb, it's got 63 armor, and it's got an increase in higher maximum life um, for one of the candidates, uh, 16 intelligence. But um, I actually did try to temper this, and it gave me like 9.5% total armor. That's not what I was looking for, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a nice percentage to my my, my entire armor overall. But it's. Um, it's not, that wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for something along the lines of uh, increased life. Because uh, I like having more life when I'm getting attacked. And it's nice to have more armor because it's going to protect me. But my armor is up here. Look at this. It's um, 215 right now, which is nice. Um, so it reduces physical damage taken uh, by 30%. That's nice. But it's not the same. Anyway, I've been talking about this for quite a bit. Now let's go on to actually doing stuff because that was supposed to be uh, a much briefer breakdown of things that have happened in the last episode and some different choices I made. So you might be wondering why are you over here as opposed to down here like last time? 
Um, so, there's this big space right here that is untouched, that is undiscovered. This is the undiscovered country here. Um, and so, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to clear out some space here. I think if I do that, I'm going to find some more altars. But I'm also going to find some more dungeons and... If not even dungeons, but some places, like some little like um, little holes to go in and fight monsters inside. I'm just gonna clear out the stuff here. Um, I know there's a there's a main storyline that I'm supposed to be going to and dealing with that's way up here. Um, but I um, unforeseen visit is up there, and if I zoom out, doot, 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 there's also this guy right here, um, tarnished luster. There's so much to this. There's so much ground to cover. Um, and there's, there's also this over here, so there's like, storyline, and I'm gonna get back to it, but I also really want to, um, really want to take my time here and go through all this other side stuff too, um, because, you know, I might find something of great value that I need to really get, um, once I clear, once I once I discover this space, once I go through here and clear out monsters and fight stuff, and same thing with over here, clear out all this stuff here. So this map is pretty much for the most part revealed. Um, I'm gonna jump back over here, then I'm gonna come through here and fight some stuff just to kind of clear all this out. Because funny thing is, when I went through this map the first time, um, it was a little different than it is now. Some other things opened up. So, I just kind of want to make sure that um, I don't miss anything uh, and before I kind of move on. Because once I start moving on, I'm going to be moved on. Like, seriously. Um, I'm going to be uh, over here dealing with this. I'm going to be over here dealing with this. I'm going to be over here dealing with this. I'm going to be going through the main story and also the side stories. But I don't want to have to retract my steps and go through all this stuff again. I'm pretty much going to flesh out... But most of this map, if not all of the map, as much as possible. Um, and I'm going to hit all the side stuff if I possibly can. I'm just going to just do a lot of exploring and, and investigating and building of stuff. Um, uh, because that's, you know, that's what it's all about, right? Um, that's, that's, uh, like I said, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be crossing all, all the stuff here. I say that now, of course. At some point, I might just be like, you know what? I can finish this stuff after I've finished playing the main story. And um, so I might change my mind. But for now, all I know is uh, Shroud of the Father. So there's, there's, some, there's, some, there's some side stuff, stuff to do. There's, there's a mission right here that I have to do uh, before I get over here. Um, this was, um, I think, this was a side quest because I'm like, poisoned. But anyway. Uh, I just want I just want to clear this stuff out and uh, and, and map all this stuff, uh, map all this map all this, uh, maybe revisit this area very very quickly. Uh, but I, then I'm gonna go up here and start doing the uh, main story again. So I'm just gonna rush through most of this episode. Is just gonna be clearing things uh, things out. I know I've taken a lot of time talking and stuff, uh, but it's just kind of catch you up on what I was doing here. Um, I'll probably do fewer catch-ups um, because I don't want to uh, waste time. Um, it's not really a waste, but you know, I've only got so much time in my um, in these in, the, in these things. Okay. Uh, I try not to make these episodes too long. I'm not even sure when I started. All right. Even joined. Hold your ground. Oops. What is this? Okay. What nice that? Playing militia. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to this guy. Wonder. Okay. Okay, nice. I'm pulling off some stuff. Oh, 
All right. Died. Nice. Love getting all those fragments now for uh, for all these different. Um... Oof! This person almost died. Uh, anyway, so I should also mention that I um, I did some um, improvements to my spells, my skills here. Um, so skill assignment. There we go. There. This enchantment, so whenever I kill an enemy, they explode in a fireball for 50% of its damage, which is awesome. So if I'm getting swarmed, I'm getting attacked, it's getting crazy, I just keep killing monsters, and boom, they get, they get, uh, they go bye-bye, and everyone around them goes bye-bye, or gets hit with damage. Um, now, I could always do the uh, chain lightning forms automatically after spinning... But that enchantment doesn't really do as much uh, as far as, you know, anything. Um, so, I like the, um... I like the enchantment that actually gives me some chance to do some real damage. Um, and who knows? I might change it because there might be some better, um, enchantments. But, um, that's a good one. There's some, there's, there's some nice ones. Um, I, uh, I I took off the ball lightning for a little bit because it kind of sucked. It wasn't really doing much. Um, so I might be doing lightning and fire and not focusing. Um, no, not, not, you know. I'm not doing everything lightning for what I'm saying here is because, it's, um, yeah, it wasn't working out for me here. Oops. So we've revealed more of the map, and we're gonna keep going in this direction. Is there anything else here to see, to investigate, to explore, to, to touch, to smell? Woodworking tools. Okay. I have no woodworking to do. Why do I hear fiends but don't see fiends? Okay, so I guess they're up here.
Buckley Mountain. Wow. I think that's just that fireball thing just just does it. It just does it. It does the job. I have already been inside this thing. Have I been inside a Buckley Mine before? I don't think I have. This looks like a very spidery, spidery zone. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to feel a little uneasy here, but... Uh. Holy crap. So here's the thing, I can actually stand still if I want to. Oh crap! Yeah. Oof! Okay! Talk about baller level! Okay! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. What was that one talking about? He's talking about that. That is what I was talking about. Alright, so that was good. That was a good clearing. I cleared that pretty quickly. <sighs> what? Okay. Let's go. So that's the rest of that map going in that direction. So I'm going to keep going up, and then I'll make my mate turn around. Um, to go back around. Oh yeah, I hit that. Because I'm right here. I'm going to go up this path or this way. Then I'm going to come back this way. So kind of make sure I hit all this stuff right here. And then I'm going to go and clear out this. Uh, so I can, uh, you know, reveal what this is. Uh, Alright. What the H? No, you don't. What do you think this is? No. The answer to the question is no. What was the question? Can I taste some of that taste? Man, that fireball enchantment is baller. It has, it has seriously leveled up my power by so much. I am really happy with, with my decisions. Um. Huh! And they don't just explode. They blow them away. And they get knockback damage. Whoa, you are so webbing there. Because it just clears the way. It doesn't just. It's uh. That's. I am. I am really, really excited. As you can tell. What is that down there? Is that a little horde? Is that a whole bunch of? Okay. Well, I can't you know attack them from up here. But I will get them. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I am the exterminator. 
And there's something over there. The werewolf. Oh, oh dang! I uh, see these these uh these deer. These they they're gonna get themselves in trouble. What a thing! Holy crap! It's like it's like they're it's like they're running to a barrel. A barrel of uh <sighs> Okay. Oh that's um There we go there. Oh there we go oh, there. So I said I was gonna come back this direction. Uh oh. That's what I'm talking about. That is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. That is... I am... I am loving it. I'm loving it. Site retreats. Spider City, apparently. Okay, I'm just gonna just kind of just go up here. Then I'm gonna come back. Look at that waterfall. That's beautiful. Okay. So we know that's right there. I'm gonna come back to that. about that because I don't remember them being there before. Okay. That's the western ways. That leads back into where I was before. kind of leads down to yeah. Yeah. back to where it all started okay and Dang, he killed that guy. Poor guy. He just squashed him like a bug. He was indeed squashed. Yeah. Yeah, a signet, that's nice.
that hurt. All right, so I have confirmed. Must have big stuff. All right, so that is good. So I've cleared out this saw here. I've been over here before. This led over here where I found that. Um, I don't think I've actually ever been up this pathway. Um, I, I went this direction, I went down, but I never went up. Or did I? I can't remember. I might, I might, I might swing back around this direction on my way back. Oops, again, I can't press the wrong button. West way. And then I went up to the left. To the, like, side of the chain. I came in there, put on my, my ice shield, and was like, aggro! And... Yes, and... Just uh, so got an amulet there. Clearing stuff out. What did you think you were going to do, kind sir? <laughs> yeah, that's that. Still have the phone, kind sir. Still have to do my pleasantries, of course, you know. We're, we're a civilized folk. I keep pressing the wrong button here. This goes up that way. So, am I going to go left first, or go upwards to this empty space here? Um, you know what, I might go up here, and then I'll swing back around and, and, and go this way around, because there's some stuff over here too that has to be investigated. Then I'll come back around this way. Am I going to go inside these, uh, these derelict dungeons? Because, um, I'm not going to get those, uh, I'm not going to do those dungeons yet. Uh, I feel like... I want to do those dungeons, but at the same time, I'm not sure how those rewards work. Because if I get Aspect of Unsatiated, I'm not sure if that carries over to my other characters or not. Um, how does that work with collections? Like, if I collect all these things, um, do I share them across my characters? Um, you know, I get like season stuff that carries across my characters. Um, but... I don't know about, um, you know, I don't know about other stuff. Anyway. Uh. I'm going in this direction.
Alright, secluded cabin. Gonna clear that out too. And keep going. What, is, what was that? Oh, it's a doe. Or a deer. It's a doe. There's a lot happening right there. A cathedral crest? What is that? It's mine. That's what it is. Some goodies. Some goodies. Let's see, current amulet is plus 0.6% to intelligence. This other one's a vampire's amulet. So I'm, 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 I'm kind of collecting all these vampires, uh, vampire related uh, items. Um, because this amulet can be very helpful for my other character once I create them eventually. Um, Flash ring. <laughs> just a little bit better than the one ring I currently have, so I might actually uh, use that one and just bump up my resource regeneration um, with the other one, assuming that I can roll the same thing. Um, yeah. Stellar. It also might be too early for me to start going in the temp rank. Maybe I should just wait, because as I keep going through, I keep finding better and better stuff. And it might be worth my while to just, just keep fighting and keep, you know, just waiting until I get better stuff. But the words that Cathedral, uh, Cathedral, well, something, whatever it was, um, it's not here. It's not showing up in my items here, so I'm not really sure. What the, it was a crest. Cathedral crest. Um, I don't know what that was, but I cannot find it here. Okay. Oh, also, I, um, I bought some consumables, because I've been collecting a lot of different herbs, and apparently... Um, I've collected enough to where I can buy some stuff to like bump up my, uh, my, my, my impact. So, <coughs> I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna use one of these. Uh, increase attack speed by 7%, slightly hit by 7%, experience gained, or, Elixir of Destruction gives me increased overpower damage, normal damage, 7%, experience gained, or, increased critical strike chance and critical strike damage by 25%. Um, let's do the, um, attack speed. I'll do the, uh, I'll do this one first. Uh, the, uh, precision. For a critical strike. So, for the next 30 minutes, I have the ability to, uh, do some serious, serious damage. Even more than I'm already doing. There's a deer. Okay, there we go.
Huh. So that's a great thing about this little swarming guy is coming up now because if I, uh, that lightning pretty much is like a one shot kill for those little guys and they all explode and they cause significant damage to the, uh, the bigger ones that are a part of the group. So this is really. Yeah. What's a hatchling? We're about to find out. Oh, lots of they explode. this so this is a new dungeon I gotta get some more information on this dungeon uh, so what happens if I do this dungeon I get <gasps> becoming injured while crowd control grants you unstoppable for seconds <coughs> eluding aspects now, one thing I've noticed is different from this one and this one is uh, whenever I get an aspect that's not of my kind, it actually says it. So, this is actually a dungeon that leads to... Um, this is a dungeon for my character. This is a dungeon that completely, totally works for a sorcerer. So, I'm going to come here and I'm going to do this one. Um, I'm going to do this dungeon. But first... There's a little star thing going on right here, so I've got to investigate that. Uh, and then I'm going to finish out this episode, because I said I was going to do all this stuff. In the next episode, I will... Um, I'm going to get over there very quickly, because the, the, the blinking thing was there, and then it stopped. Uh, but th th that'll be in this episode. Once I uh, clear out, like, uh, investigate all this stuff, the next episode, I'll go inside that dungeon. Hello, guy. Little guy I don't know. Green bone cash. What was that? So apparently, there's um. 
I mean, there's something that I picked up, which I guess I guess I won't know what it is until. Hogan Bone Cash. Harvest death and enema from werewolves. I found the cash sealed by powerful magic. To open it, I must slay werewolves in this area and feed their death motes to its hungering lock. All right. All right, so there's, um, there's that. So I've got to kill a bunch of werewolves. I have no problem with that. One of her name isn't Jacob. What was that? I'm sorry? What was... Hold on a second. Thoughts are the uh, werewolves. Get over here. Question is, how many werewolves do I have to kill? I guess we'll find out. Alright, so there's uh There's something in here. A challenge or something. Darkness. Boom. Boom. No. <laughs> oh, I love getting the stuffs. Love getting the stuffs. Okay. 
Okay. I leveled up. It is glorious. I got a legendary supply of some kind. So he dropped something that was delicious. That's where that's where I came. I figured he was wood, so a little fire would uh, not go, uh, not be very pleasant for him. Alright, well I've done a lot of clearing out there. And so that's that. Next episode, I'm going to go to the Caldera Gate and challenge whatever stands inside those gates. Should I go to town first? What is this? I found a lot of really cool stuff. Wait a second. More... I wonder how many more vamp not vampires, werewolves do I kill before I uh Okay, so apparently I gotta go all the way down here. 
Hungering Bone Cache. Harvest Death Anima from Werewolves. So I gotta go back over here to Nostrava. Um, and then from Nostrava, I'll go down here and handle this uh, Hungering Bone Cache thing. Where's this lady? That's what I want to know. is leading to dry steps. I'm not ready to go there just yet. So we're just going to uh, we're just gonna back up there. We're not gonna quite go there just yet. I got other stuff to do first. Well eventually we'll go to dry steps. There's this there's this but uh, that's uh we're gonna we're gonna stay in this in this region until we clear out everything that we possibly can clear out. There's still a lot of ground to cover. Fracture peaks. Where's this fracture peaks? Okay. All of this is still fracture peaks. Okay, I gotcha. Pressure peaks. Pressure peaks. So yeah, okay. So pretty much, I've got like you know some a lot, a lot of territory to cover over here and over here, and then I'll start doing all the other stuff. Uh, one map at a time, right? All right. So we're just gonna. Nope. Don't do with that. What I meant to do is this. Hold on a second. Can I go? Can I take a shortcut? No, I can't. Nice. Got my my steed. My trusty steed. How do you scare my horse? Yeah. Is that a person? Oh, they're frozen. All these people are frozen. Alright, with that, that's this episode. Next episode, we finish off, or we continue on with our journey to collect death anima from werewolves. But we're also going to be going to this Caldera Gate. And then from there, we will continue on with uh, the rest of our little quests here. Um, we're going to go to talk to the Shrouded Father here. And then from there, we're going to jump into the Unforeseen Visit. Uh, where we're going to continue on with the main story. Because that actually is the point of this game. Is to uh, get more information about that um, Lilith character. 
and take her down. Um, so, yeah. We got more story to tell, more adventures to explore, more things to do along the way. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.